Today is the day. Are you ready to meet some dolphins? Yes, let's do it. This is amazing. Pretty neat, huh? Look at that one right there. Ah! Let's go find Hunter. Ooh, yeah. Hello. Hey, welcome. Are you Annalisa? Yes, I am. I'm Hunter. It's nice to meet you. I hear you want to be a trainer when you grow up. Yes. Well, I'm so glad you've made it. We have a jam-packed day ahead of us. Okay. You ready to get going? Yeah. All right, let's go get our hands dirty. Okay. Well, the first part of every trainer's day involves making sure that all of our animals have their specific diets that they need. This is our our fish kitchen. So you can okay. dig through these fish. Yeah. That one looks good. We are gonna add that in. So this one has a tear in it. Yeah. This is a place where bacteria could grow, so we won't feed that. Nice. Here we go. Two more. That is perfect. You wanna take your bucket, we're gonna go ice it, and then I've got something else to show you. Okay. Now trainers know where to come find his breakfast. Now this is our vet lab where we store all of the supplies wow. to take care of the animals. The animals can survive on their own by breaking down fish, which is how dolphins in the wild get their hydration. Here though, we can give them extra hydration, which helps keep their kidneys nice and flushed out. And we do that with a tube, which are basically like big silly straws for the dolphins. And in just a minute, you'll get to help me give the dolphins one of their water. That's awesome. Now another one of the things that we do is get their teeth brushed and they have 88 of them but they only get one set for their entire life so we brush their teeth to keep them nice and healthy and then last but not least we're going to be looking at Alphonse's poop I'm sorry so we only look at their poop a couple of times a year so it's just a lucky day for you dolphin poop <laughs> so we're going to get all of that ready and we're working with Alphonse today so you can open his drawer and we're going to get his toothbrush out okay. and then we also need the toothpaste and then when we go to take this poop sample we need some gloves <laughs> and then this that's what we're gonna collect the <laughs> dolphin poop in. Okay, I'm ready. So this will be the first time you'll be up close seeing a dolphin. I'm so excited. Hey, Kayla. Hello. So Annalisa, this is Kayla. One of her main jobs is to teach Alphonse healthcare behaviors. So our training philosophy is that if we make these behaviors super fun for Alphonse, he'll want to participate. Yeah. So if you went to the doctor, but they gave you a thousand dollars, the doctor <laughs> might be a little bit more fun to go to. <laughs> yeah. So that's where Kayla comes in. The fun one. <laughs> right, let's head on down. Sounds good. All right. So Annalisa, meet Alphonse. Oh, hi. Hi. All right, we're gonna get ready to collect that poop sample. Now your job is gonna be to hold this plastic bit. Right. So the first thing that we're gonna do before we collect the poop sample is clean that area to make sure it's nice and sterile. So we're just gonna gently wipe. All right, and now I'm ready for the tube. And so we twist this in very gently. Here we go. And we're gonna put this in here so we can take it back to the lab. Just a yeah. tiny bit of dolphin poop. All right, good job, Alphonse. Good job. Yeah. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is give Alphonse water. Pinch this with your other hand. Kayla's going to put the tube down into the first chamber of Alphonse's stomach. That doesn't hurt Alphonse at all. Oh, wow. They swallow their fish whole. And now you can let go of that so that the water flows and Alphonse is gonna drink two and a half liters of water here. So this little tube is just like us drinking water straight through a straw. So we're gonna tap the side just like that so no air bubbles get in there. Excellent. Now you can crimp that again. Kayla's gonna pull the tube out. We're gonna tell him good job again. Good, good job! job. Good job. And now we need to brush Alphonse's teeth. Kayla's gonna show you first. Take one hand and put it underneath his chin. Okay. And then you wanna make sure we get the sides and the top. Just like that. Go! Right. You wanna try? Yeah. You can do his other side. Okay. There you go. And Elisa, did you think you'd be doing this a week ago? No. <laughs> Good job. Good Wanna try his top teeth? Yeah. We'll ask him to turn around. Okay. And then get his other side. This is the coolest thing. This is awesome. <laughs> nice job. 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 Nice job.
now that Alphonse is all taken care of, are you ready to go hang out with him on the platform over there? Definitely. All right, get you guys all vested up. Thank you. And yeah. ready to miss the dolphin. Yeah. We're about to step on this platform. It's gonna lower down to about waist deep water. How do you tell the dolphins apart? Great question. I'll show you. You're gonna hold Bob's tail. It's kind of heavy. And Will and Emily put your hands right under Alphonse's tail. And the dorsal fin that's sticking up in their back, that's how we can tell the dolphins apart. No two dolphins have the same dorsal fin in the entire world. Now Alphonse is gonna swim under your hands for a back row. What do you think Alphonse feels like? Smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Take one finger and touch right there on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's where dolphins make sound from. Take your finger and tap under his chin. Oh. All right, put one finger up like me. Bounce it up and down, just like that. And now take your hand and you're gonna pull it up to your ear really fast. Just like that. All right. Would you like to see the dolphins show off a little bit? Yeah. I'm gonna pass you this pole and we're gonna ask Bob to come jump over that pole. So he's gonna dive all the way to the bottom of the pool, swim around and then come fly over that pole. There he goes. And there he goes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And he's coming again. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Oh. Now we're gonna take our hand like this and we're gonna go down and up. Now look out to the middle of the pool. He's gonna do a back dive. Oh. And he's gonna do a couple of them. Oh. One more time. Oh. Next up, put your fingers just like this. And when I say go, we're gonna shoot them this way. Ready, go. Yeah. Nice, just like that. Now that hand so signal, ask Alphonse to race all the way around the pool. Nice. Ooh, Ooh. Beautiful job, Alphonse. Oh, wait. All right, give me a big thumbs up over your head into a thumbs down, and you can wave to these guys. They're gonna wave back to you guys using their tail flute. <laughs> <laughs> now, Annalisa, we are gonna get a nice big hug from Alphonse. Sounds great. So dip down in the water. You're gonna hold our biggest dolphin. Here he comes. You can put those hands right underneath him there and rub his back and hold him. He's your friend. Look at that smile, you guys. <laughs> Good boy. How cool is meeting a dolphin up close like that? So cool. All right, let's head up and dry off. So we've had a lot of fun getting to know our resident dolphins here, but a big part of our mission is rescuing dolphins in the wild, and we usually don't do this, but I thought you guys might be interested in learning how we rescue dolphins. That yeah, sounds amazing. Awesome, so I'm gonna send you guys to meet up with Art and Kyle from our rescue team, and I'll see you guys back here as soon as you guys get done. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, you must be Art and Kyle. We are, and you must be Annalisa. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. She has hopes of working with dolphins in the future, so how many rescues have you been involved in? To date, we've had 658 rescues. Wow. wow. Why do dolphins get stranded? They may be sick or injured. The most important thing is don't make the mistake of pushing it back into the water. Call wow. the local authorities and wait for experts to come and evaluate the animal. Hi. So the best way to show you how to do this is with our training dog. Oh, oh. No. yes! This should be an Atlantic spot. Spotted dolphin. Since this one is washed up on our shores, we're making the assumption he's in need of our help. We're here to help you. We always approach them from the side. Annalisa, if you'll place a hand on the animal, and if the animal's calm, then you would move in closer and you would put one thigh against the animal and that prevents the animal from moving and hurting themselves. In order to move a dolphin, it'll take some more people than just the two of them. So I'll have you guys come around and help. Sure. We're going to hold their pectoral fin in so that it doesn't hyperextend it. And then they're gonna keep one hand on the dolphin and gently step off of the stretcher. And if you guys will grab some of these handholds, one, two, three, up, and we're gonna walk backwards so that we can place this animal in our transport ambulance. This animal is very calm. Yes. Very calm. Come this way, nice and slow, one at a time. Get in there. Good squeeze. Thank you. you got oh it, my Emily. gosh. Oh, oh. And lower. One, two, three. And then Kyle and Annalisa are going to get back into their primary positions to support the animal. I give you an A on that one. Oh, so that was pretty technical, but not too bad. True. No, but great. it's a little bit different with a live animal. Oh. Maybe we should go try that. Great with idea. Oh my goodness, look at this! Remember, approach from the sides, watch the tail, put one hand on the animal, and then lean down and secure the animal. Kyle's gonna come in quickly with the stretcher. Okay. We don't know how long this animal's been on the beach, and they can get third degree burns in minutes. Roll. It's okay, we'll little the stretcher up. We can oh. lay her flat on the stretcher. and roll her to the opposite side. I got you. Oh. Okay. Oh, Time is up the essence here. <laughs> when we lift this animal, we want to lift head high up on three. One, two, three. And that'll let some of the water run out of the stretcher. All right. Oh, go. Oh, don't worry. Take that. 
is very precious. You got it, Annalisa? I think so. What a rescue. We're gonna go all the way to those pads. Down on three. One, two, three. And then get back into your safety positions, making sure this animal doesn't roll yes. off the map. Kyle's gonna pull out okay. towels it's since she's hot. already burning. And Annalisa with one hand, if you can start spraying. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Nice, nicely done. Place that so we're not obstructing any airway. Don't obstruct my airway. Perfect. All right, guys, congratulations. I think we're successful. That was textbook. Nice oh, effort. Yeah. Five solid it's awesome. Don't forget the dolphins. Hey guys, we really appreciate you coming and I think it was a great success today. And I know you have to get back to the other facility, but before you go, we have something for Annalisa. Annalisa, you did a beautiful job today and I want to congratulate you on completing your marine mammal response training course. You're an official member of our team. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Nice work. I'm official. Yeah. You are you official. Are. And we do have to get back to the other facility, so thank you guys so much. This was so great. Anytime. I think you're really going to like what they have lined up for you. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, well, let's get back. Oh, See you guys. So how was rescuing a dolphin? So much fun. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. a lot of fun. Hopefully you're not too tired to swim with dolphins. Whoa. Uh, never. No, no, no. no. Nope. Okay, so come on excited. over. Ooh. Oh, look. Ooh. Dolphins love to make a big splash. <laughs> I'm gonna have you guys swim to the middle of the pool, and then we're gonna ask these dolphins to come touch your feet. Here they are, three, two, one, and push it to the back of the pool. <laughs> nice job. Pretty cool, right? That was awesome. Now we're gonna bring these poles out to you guys. Now we're gonna ask Phoebe and Tug to come and jump over that pole. You can cheer them on. Come on, buddy. You got it. Go no! One more time. <laughs> Annalisa, are you having fun? Oh, yeah. You can tell how much fun the dolphins are having, too. <laughs> All right, so Annalisa, you're going to be a real dolphin trainer here. You're going to hold on in three, two, one. <laughs> nice, Annalisa. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to ask these dolphins to cut your feet and push you. <laughs> How cool was that? So cool. She's got you! Woo! <laughs> well, unfortunately, that is the end of our day. But did you have a good time? I had so much fun. Good. I'm so glad, and we're so glad that you got a chance to spend some time with the dolphins because we know how much animals mean to you. That's right. We heard when you were having a difficult time, there was a therapy dog that meant a lot to you, and that in the future, you wanted a therapy dog of your own so that you can help other children going through the same thing that you were. Yeah. And unfortunately, we can't send you home with a dolphin or a therapy dog, but luckily, every therapy dog starts as a therapy puppy. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my goodness! <gasps> Thank you so much! Oh We're so happy that we get to give you this sweet little puppy that you can go then and, and pass on the love that you received too. Thank you so much. Oh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> well, that is our show. Big thank you to Annalisa's family for letting us borrow her for the day. And especially a big thanks to Hunter and everybody at Dolphins Plus Marine Mammal Responder. Random X on three. One, One two, three, three. Random X. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to the meatloaf. Oh, sorry. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we're on a channel. <laughs> I don't know if she's speaking dolphin or just laughing. Both.